More than five years after the financial crisis struck, Europe is about to finalize one of its most ambitious reforms since the launch of the euro, the banking union. The plan aims to keep taxpayers from bailing out troubled banks, and it includes setting up a 55 billion euro fund financed by the banking industry over 10 years. A new European agency would also be created, which would decide when and how failing banks would be closed. Early on Thursday morning, EU finance ministers sealed a broad agreement on the long-awaited pact after more than 13 hours of negotiations. European leaders gathering in Brussels are expected to sign off on the deal later today. Today is a big momentous day for banking union. Progress made in recent days on the single resolution mechanism had many financial files is unprecedented, really speaking. We are introducing revolutionary change to Europe's financial sector uh, so that taxpayers no longer foot the bill when banks uh, make mistakes or face crisis, ending the era of massive bailouts. But despite the progress on Thursday, Germany continues to reject the use of Eurozone money to directly rescue banks. Instead, a government struggling to bail out a failing bank will have to ask for a loan with strict conditions attached. So we have agreed these principles that will be transposed into intergovernmental agreement uh, possibly in two coming months. We approved also general approach on single resolution mechanism regulation that will go to the trialogues with the uh, European Parliament. This is going to be uh, the job of the Greek presidency. Uh, and if concluded in the Parliament, I think uh, uh, this will be one of the fastest going legislative files uh, in the European history. Non-Eurozone economies are not subject to the deal, but they can decide to opt in if they want to.